I've been thinking. I used to know an old trapper, a fellow by the name of Bowers. And you know, he was telling me that he used to have a sure fire. Interesting facts about famous people. John Wayne's favorite on-screen supporting character actors. Those character actors, actresses, and friends Wayne shared the limelight with. Over a long career, John Wayne made many movies, mostly westerns. Of course, he didn't do this alone. Aside from sharing the screen with the likes of Maureen O'Hara, James Stewart, Robert Mitchum, and many other lead actors. None of these movies would have been possible without the many talented and hard-working support actors. Today we will take a look at some of them. If you take a liking to this video, take a peek at my channel for more. The link is in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to share with your friends. The more the merrier. Ward Bond, often played policemen, soldiers, sailors, and cowboys. The prodigal brother. When did you get back? I ain't seen you. Paul Fix, quote, The only reason some people get lost in their thoughts is because it's unfamiliar territory. Harry Carey, trademark, red hair and blue eyes. He often worked with directors John Ford and Andrew V. McLaughlin. George O'Brien, nickname, The Chest. Yakima Knut. He was the first to do a horse transfer, transferring from a galloping horse to another moving object. Hank Warden. Trademark. Manic characters of frequently questionable mental stability. Bruce Cabot held several jobs, including being a sailor, insurance salesman, prize fighter, surveyor, and doing a stint in a knacker's yard before winding up in Hollywood in 1931. Jack Pennick worked in nearly every sound picture directed by John Ford as part of the John Ford Stock Company. Ben Johnson, quote, everybody in town's a better actor than I am, but none of them can play Ben Johnson. Harry Carey Jr. Trademark, red hair back, and blue eyes. And I seen their Nickname, Doe. Bellied up a ridge, and there they was, right below me. Did you see Debbie? No. No, but I saw Lucy, all right. She was wearing that blue dress, and she what was... What you saw wasn't Lucy. Ralph Falke, known for Leather Gloves, 1948, East of the River, 1940, and Fall for Texas, 1963. Jerry Gatlin, known for Pale Rider, 1985, Bite the Bullet, 1975, and Silverado, 1985. Olin Holland, nickname Ollie or Olin Howland.
Lane Chandler, Trivia. One of his jobs before becoming an actor was driving a tourist bus at Yellowstone National Park. James Arness had to dye his naturally blonde hair for the role of Matt Dillon since dark hair was considered more masculine. Trademarks, commanding voice and towering height. Ken Curtis. Before taking up an acting career, he sang with Tommy Dorsey's band and the Sons of the Pioneers. Get over that piece of firewood. Edward no Faulkner. Originally set out to become a civil engineer, but in 1958 decided to try acting and moved to Los Where's Angeles. Within a month, he found a role on an yes, episode sir. of Have Gun, Will Travel, 1957. Uh, John Whalen. I guess he Trademark, if I'm a exaggerated a Scandinavian a accent, although he himself was My born and raised in Canada and Illinois, with a small slight frame, played bumbling comic Chief relief State. characters. Walter Brennan, quote, when I see a good western, I just sit there. I was thrilled to see Red River, 1948, because I believed in it. John Wayne was so good, I believed in him. Andy Devine, yeah. trademark, high-pitched, raspy voice. Hello, kid. Hello, Curly. Hi, Buck. How's your folks? Oh, just fine, Ringo. Except my grandfather came out. Hello to any new Thank viewers you, on my man. channel. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your likes First and subscribers. Do Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Share with your friends. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.